Fact number one origin in Tomb of Dracula. Blade first appeared in the Tomb of Dracula number 10, published in 1973. Created by writer Marv Wolfman and artist Gene Colan, Blade was introduced in a horror-themed comic series that was a departure from Marvel's more traditional superhero stories. The series was instrumental in establishing Blade's vampire hunting background and set the stage for his future adventures, making him a unique figure in the Marvel Universe. Fact number two, not initially a daywalker. Blade was not originally a daywalker, a term used to describe his unique ability to walk in sunlight. This characteristic was popularized by the Wesley Snipes film series and was later incorporated back into the comic books. The daywalker aspect has since become a defining feature of Blade's character, setting him apart from both humans and vampires. Fact number three, British birth. Blade was born in the Soho neighborhood of London, England. His mother, Tara Brooks, was a prostitute who died shortly after giving birth to him. Blade's British heritage is often overlooked due to the Americanization of the character in various adaptations, but it remains an integral part of his backstory and adds a layer of complexity to his identity. Fact number four, mother turned by Deacon Frost. Blade's mother was killed by a vampire named Deacon Frost while she was in labor. This event led to Blade's unique physiology, which combines human and vampire traits. Deacon Frost's actions set Blade on a lifelong path of vengeance, making their relationship one of the most complex and personal vendettas in the Marvel Universe. Fact number five, trained by Jamal Afari. Blade was mentored by Jamal Afari, a jazz trumpeter and seasoned vampire hunter. Afari took young Blade under his wing after finding him in London, teaching him various combat skills, the art of vampire hunting, and instilling in him a strong moral code. A fairy's mentorship was instrumental in shaping Blade into the vampire hunter he would become, making him a pivotal figure in Blade's life. Fact number six, immunity to vampire bites. Blade's unique physiology grants him immunity to the effects of vampire bites. Unlike humans who could be turned into vampires through a bite, Blade remains unaffected. This immunity is a crucial asset in his battles against the undead, allowing him to engage in close combat without the fear of becoming one of the creatures he hunts. Fact number seven, teaming up with Hannibal King and Frank Drake. Blade is often collaborated with other vampire hunters, most notably Hannibal King and Frank Drake. Together, they formed a group known as the Night Stalkers, specializing in the eradication of vampires and other supernatural threats. Their team-up represents one of the few instances where Blade is part of a group, showcasing his ability to collaborate when the stakes are high. Fact number eight, member of the Midnight Suns. Blade has been a member of the Midnight Suns, a team of supernatural heroes that includes characters like Ghost Rider and Morbius. The team tackles mystical and dark threats that conventional heroes are ill-equipped to handle. Blade's membership in this group highlights his versatility and the unique skill set he brings when dealing with supernatural challenges. Fact number nine, fought Dracula multiple times. Blade has had numerous encounters with Dracula, the lord of all vampires. These confrontations are not merely physical battles, but also psychological warfare, as Dracula often attempts to exploit Blade's insecurities and doubts. Their ongoing feud is one of the most iconic rivalries in the Marvel Universe, adding depth and complexity to both characters. Fact number 10, The Darkhold. Blade has had interactions with The Darkhold, a book of dark magic that is one of the most potent mystical artifacts in the Marvel Universe. The Darkhold has been sought by both heroes and villains, and Blade's involvement with it showcases his willingness to delve into the darker aspects of magic to achieve his goals. Fact number 11, Sword of the Daywalker. Blade's signature weapon is the Sword of the Daywalker, a specially designed titanium blade coated with a vampire lethal acid. This sword is not just a weapon, but an extension of Blade himself, embodying his relentless pursuit of justice against the undead. The sword also features a security mechanism that injures anyone else who tries to wield it, making it uniquely attuned to Blade. Fact number 12, fought alongside the Avengers. Blade has fought alongside the Avengers on several occasions, particularly when they face supernatural or mystical threats. His unique set of skills and knowledge of the occult make him an invaluable asset to the team. Blade's involvement with the Avengers showcases his adaptability and the respect he commands among even the most powerful heroes in the Marvel Universe. Fact number 13, the serum. Blade uses a specially designed serum to suppress his vampiric thirst for blood. This serum, 
which he developed himself, is a crucial aspect of his character. It allows him to maintain his humanity and focus on his mission, serving as both a literal and metaphorical lifeline in his eternal battle against the undead. Fact number 14 Faced Werewolves Blade's expertise is not limited to vampires. He is also faced off against werewolves and other supernatural entities. His adaptability and broad skill set make him a versatile hunter capable of taking on a variety of supernatural threats, further solidifying his reputation as one of the Marvel Universe's foremost experts on the occult. Fact number 15 Black Panther Connection Blade and Black Panther have crossed paths on several occasions. Both characters are iconic black superheroes, and their interactions often delve into themes of responsibility, legacy, and the unique challenges they face. Their mutual respect and occasional collaborations add a layer of depth to both characters, enriching the Marvel Universe's portrayal of heroism and identity. Fact number 16 Blade's Daughter In some comic storylines, Blade has a daughter named Fallon Gray. She is a high school student who eventually learns about her heritage and takes up the mantle of a vampire hunter. Fallon's introduction adds a familial aspect to Blade's character, exploring themes of legacy and the complexities of fatherhood in the context of his dangerous lifestyle. Fact number 17 Blade in the Ultimate Universe In the Ultimate Marvel Universe, Blade is a member of a vampire hunting organization known as the Vampires of America. Unlike his mainstream counterpart, who is often depicted as a lone wolf, the ultimate version of Blade is part of a larger network of vampire hunters. He also sports a more militaristic look, complete with advanced weaponry and tactical gear. This version of Blade brings a different flavor to the character while maintaining his core essence as a relentless vampire hunter. Fact number 18 Animated Series Blade had an animated series that aired in Japan in 2011. The series delves into his origins and his quest to eliminate the vampire menace in Japan. It also explores his relationship with his mother and his mentor, adding emotional depth to his character while introducing him to a new audience. Fact number 19 Fought Mobius Blade has had a complicated relationship with Morbius, the living vampire. Initially enemies, they have also teamed up when facing greater threats. Their relationship is a complex one, fraught with moral ambiguity, and serves as a mirror to Blade's own struggles with his identity as a half-vampire. Fact number 20 Blade's real name Blade's real name is Eric Brooks, a detail that is often overshadowed by his more famous alias. Born to a mother named Tara Brooks, Eric was given this name before the tragic events that led him to become Blade. Knowing his real name adds a layer of humanity to a character often seen as a supernatural warrior. It serves as a reminder of his origins and the life he might have led had he not been touched by the vampiric curse. Fact number 21 Blade's World War II Adventures In some storylines, Blade is depicted as having fought vampires during World War II. This adds an intriguing layer to his long history of vampire hunting, suggesting that his mission has intersected with some of the most critical events in human history. Fighting alongside or against other Marvel characters who were active during World War II, like Captain America or Nick Fury, Blade's involvement in the war adds depth to his character and expands the scope of his never-ending battle against the undead. Fact number 22, The Night Stalkers comic. The Night Stalkers had their own comic series in the 90s, which delved into the adventures of Blade, Hannibal King, and Frank Drake as they hunted supernatural creatures. The series explored the dynamics between these three very different characters, each with their own motivations and methods, providing a nuanced look at what it means to be a hunter of the supernatural. Fact number 23 Blade's Martial Arts Skills Blade is a master martial artist with training in various forms, including capoeira, jujutsu, and hapkido, among others. His fighting style is a blend of these martial arts, combined with his own improvisational moves, making him a formidable hand-to-hand -hand combatant. This skill set is often overshadowed by his vampire hunting gadgets and weaponry, but is crucial in situations where he cannot rely on them. His martial prowess allows him to take on multiple opponents at once, even those with supernatural abilities, making him one of the most skilled fighters in the Marvel Universe. Fact number 24, Fought the X-Men Blade has had run-ins with the X-Men, particularly when they were turned into vampires during the Curse of the Mutants storyline. His involvement in this art showcased his expertise in dealing with vampiric threats, even when those threats come from unexpected places. 
It also highlighted the ethical dilemmas he faces, as he had to decide whether to cure or kill some of the most beloved heroes in the Marvel Universe. Fact number 25, Blade's age. Due to his half-vampire physiology, Blade ages much more slowly than a regular human. This allows him to maintain his physical prowess and combat effectiveness over an extended period. His slowed aging is a double-edged sword. While it grants him longevity, it also means he must watch his loved ones grow old and pass away. This aspect of his character adds a layer of tragedy and complexity, making him an enduring and ever-evolving figure in the Marvel Universe. And there you have it, Marvel fans and trivia buffs. You've just been schooled in some of the most mind-blowing facts about Blade the Daywalker. If you thought you knew everything there was to know about this vampire-hunting legend, think again. Don't forget to smash that like button if you learned something new today, and hit subscribe for more jaw-dropping facts and deep dives in your favorite characters, comics, and all things Marvel. Want to be the first to know when we drop another fact-filled video? Ring that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of our upcoming content. Got a topic you're dying for us to cover? Leave a comment below. We're all ears. Until next time, this is it Surgeon underscore Facts signing off. Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay awesome.